the church-state divide. What the algorithm gives is what it gives. We might tweak the overall algorithm, but we don't hand tweak the results. And I want to just put out the question, in 2015, do we still stand behind the church-state divide? I feel like in many instances I do, but in others I worry about it. Here's another example, mugshots.com. If you were to Google John Eric Glastonbury, this would be one of the top hits. It's been optimized to be one of the top hits. It's his mugshot. He's looking happy. I think he was uh, arrested for marijuana possession, so it hadn't worn off yet. Uh, but he might regret it later. And it actually has a little thing you can click on that says, I would like to unpublish this. And for only $400, you can have your mugshot unpublished by mugshots.com, which has done it best to get it as a top hit on Google for this person. Now, should Google tweak the search result so that this doesn't appear because that's not a good business model. It's called blackmail. For some economists, they write papers called the problem of blackmail, by which they mean, why is that a problem? It's just a transaction where somebody asks you for money to do or not do something. But for the rest of us, maybe that's a problem. And in fact, Google itself went ahead and got rid of the high ranking of those mugshot sites, just thinking it was a bad thing to do. Another example on this front, if I Google vaccinate my child, I get a series of links, literally half of which say you need to vaccinate your child, and the other half of which says you absolutely must not vaccinate your child. Is that the right balance? Are we protected by the fact that Google doesn't know from moment to moment what's going to win, or does it bear a responsibility as our helper to give us information that is grounded that we can use? Uh, my own sense of how to deal with this is to take an idea that Jack Balkin got started, which is called information fiduciary. We have stockbrokers sometimes, but not always, owe us a duty to treat us fairly and to look out for our interests when they recommend that we make a trade. Some don't have that fiduciary duty, and they are more able to re recommend a jackalope branch to us as an investment because they get some commission off of that. Well, if they owe us a duty sometimes, and lawyers owe us a duty to look out for us, why shouldn't Google be at least subscribing to the idea, along with Bing, along with Facebook, of looking out for us when they do something? What would a bare minimum of that be? Well, here's a patent on the Connect. I don't think it's seriously being uh, invoked, but the patent actually is for a Connect uh, in your living room, the video game thing that can take your picture. This has a consumer detector. And if it detects a certain number of consumers, the idea is that it can charge more for a movie if there's more people in the room, thereby leading, of course, people hiding behind the couch when they ask for the movie and then poking their head out gingerly or putting a mirror in the back of the room to enjoy the content, which is kind of like coupon cl clipping, so it's perfectly good. But these are the kinds of things where I say, that would be an example of Connect not working for me if it would do that, maybe we could ask the companies if they want to step up and be fiduciary.